In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the cool new features in WordPress 4.9 that was recently released, how to use them, where they are, where to find them, and what they do, and they're actually pretty cool. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress and you like WordPress tips and tricks and how to make it work even better for you and your clients, then click subscribe because I publish lots of stuff to make your WordPress experience more awesome. Also click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now click on this card that appeared and register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar where I show you how to protect my websites and my client websites using three simple tactics that I apply to all my websites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. After you do that, Come back to this tutorial, let's get started. Most of the updates were to the customizer and to widgets. Now, I don't know if you spend too much time in the customizer. Depending on your theme, it might not support it very much, but other themes support the customizer a lot. The X theme, for example, runs entirely on the customizer. But if you have never been there, the way you get there is you go to appearance and then customize. And then it loads the customizer, which is where you can change things visually on your site and you can see them not change the visual, but you change things and you see them updated live on the site. So for example, there's a colors option on this site. Yours will vary. Every theme has a different set of customizer options. But if I change this color to green, let's see what happens. It's currently reloading the site and it changed accent colors to green. The bar up here is green, the link here is green. I change it to red. The site's gonna reload again, change those to red. And now I can preview these changes before they're actually live on the site. If I want to go live, I can just click on publish. Something that's just recently been added with 4.9 is if you click on this gear icon, you can now save it as a draft and schedule it, which is pretty cool. This is like being able to schedule pages and posts. You can now schedule design changes to your website. The biggest example I could think of is if you have some kind of promotion going on and you need design changes to happen after the promotion ends and maybe you'd normally yourself or have someone else stay up till midnight or whatever time the promotion ended to go make those changes manually now you could potentially make those in the customizer or maybe there's certain things you want to change on your site for specific holidays you can make those changes in advance schedule them to make those changes at the appropriate times another new feature if you click on save draft and then actually save the draft we will now get a preview link right down here that we can copy and send to others. So if they open a new tab and paste that link in there, they can then see a preview of your changes before they go live. It used to be you could only preview the changes when you're inside the customizer. Now you can send that preview link. So if you're collaborating with someone or you have a client that you're working for and you want them to prove the changes before you submit them or before you publish them, this is how you do it now with this preview option which is pretty neat. Inside of the additional CSS section, which is built in the customizer, again, depends on the theme support, but most themes that support customizer have this option as well. What has been added here is syntax highlighting and code checking. So if I, for example, want to select the body and I'm just gonna change the background color to red, and that is all correct, there are no errors. But if I change this to the Canadian spelling of color, we don't have a warning sign here. We hover over the warning, it says unknown property, background color with a U, doesn't exist. Okay, so we fix it. Or for example, if we don't have the semicolon, we don't get a red X saying unexpected, oh sorry, saying expected colon on line one in column 26. So let's see where column 26 is. Now 26 is at the end, so I didn't quite read that this was background color and the colon had to go right there, but it knew there's a missing colon. And if you have more styles in here, for example, styles are usually separated by a semicolon. If you had font size 15 pixels as your change, if you don't have that semicolon there, it's going to generate an error. Another thing I found in here, if you have, for example, an A selector and you add a colon, 
it lists out all the pseudo selectors that are possible, which is pretty handy. Uh, usually if you're using pseudo selectors, you know which ones you're using, but if you don't know or you forgot or whatever, you can just click on one of these and it puts it right in there for you. And those are the changes that happen to the CSS box inside the customizer. So those are the big ones, the big changes, big updates inside the customizer. If we head back out to our widgets area, that's where some other updates happened. So in the 4.8 update, you remember we got the audio widget, the image widget, and the video widget. Now we have the gallery widget. Oh, I already have it up here. So we have the gallery widget right here. We can select images. Inside the gallery widget, you can pick images. You can pick as many as you want. Then you, you just click on them to select them. Then you click on create a new gallery in the bottom right. And then it shows you the images that you chose. You can add captions for the images if you want to. You can pick a few simple settings here, nothing too major, number of columns, whether you want random orders, what size you want them to be. And this is something you'd customize after you saw it on the live site. So you just pick some settings you think are correct and you come back in and change them. But then you click on insert gallery when you're done and it has the gallery widget that will now proceed to function in the way that you defined in those settings. As I said, we had the audio and video and image widget added previously, but now inside the audio widget, you can now select audio from the site and upload it. And we have a media library subsection that contains only audio files. So here you have add audio. If we do the video, we have up here add video. So you have the separate subsections of the media library. And in fact, if you head over to the library, there is a filter where you can click right on here on all media items, this drop down, and select only one of these options to show. So you click on audio, and it's going to show only the audio items on your site. Currently there are none, but if there were, it would show them here. There's another widget that came out in an interim update, which is custom HTML. So what we used to do is add a text widget, go into the text tab of the text widget, and then type in or paste in our HTML code here, often iframes or embed codes or tracking codes or something like that. But now we have the custom HTML widget, which is designed just for custom HTML. And it also has, as you can see, code lines, no code highlighted like in the CSS, but at least it has something. And I, I expect that in future updates, they're gonna have the code syntax as well, but right now it does not. So those are the major updates that came in WordPress 4.9. I encourage you to check them out and start using them if you need them. And that's it. I hope you got a lot of value from this tutorial. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Also, click the card that just popped up, register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar, where I show you three tactics that I apply to all my sites and client sites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. And after that, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.